In my trip to the Middle East, my photographer Jim Bowser and I saw a medical crisis firsthand in the Palestinian territories. We will take you to an Israeli hospital that is world renowned for its modern and sophisticated medical institution and for helping to save the lives of countless Palestinian children. But first, we go inside a Palestinian hospital in the West Bank where the situation is drastically different. All the night I, I can't sleep. All the night this is the, this drug we have invented. How can do we manage? I must ask. Uh, please give me some uh, blades. Uh, give me for doing uh, surgery. Please give me uh, some medication for this uh, uh, sick patient. It is a, a bad situation. They have only 200 beds and are responsible for servicing a population of more than a half million people. You will see by your eyes. You can go to the department of the pediatric department and the gyna and obstetric departments. We put two women in one bed and two kids in one bed. Because of the international boycott, medicine isn't coming in. We have some people that will die if uh, medication not arrived. Pregnant and laboring women stand around waiting for a delivery room to open up without even a chair to sit in. And if somebody has a normal delivery, how long can they stay after? One hour here, but in the... Doctors and nurses haven't received a salary in four months. Many have no money for transportation, so they stopped coming. The situation in Israel is much different. This is the Hadassah University Medical Center. It's very modern and has some of the best doctors in the world. Not only does it provide the best of medical care for the Israelis and other people around the world, they care for Palestinians too. Right now, there are eight Palestinian babies in this pediatric unit, seven of them with congenital heart defects. Dr. Ido Yatsev, the head of the pediatric care unit, says they get many of these cases because one, Palestinian women have have no or very little access to prenatal care diagnosis for these defects. Two, they have very strong religious beliefs. And therefore they tend much less to, to decide on abortions if the child has a very complicated uh, congenital heart disease. And three, when it comes to Islam. They have a very high level of marriage within the family. Despite the political rift between Israelis and Palestinians, every patient is treated equally. Yatsif says many of his nurses are settlers, meaning they live in the West Bank, land that Palestinians believe is theirs and Israelis have no right to be on. They treat these uh, children of people who possibly stoned their cars and, and shot at them without any, any problem and any you know, discrimination. The funding for this care mostly comes from Italy through a program called Saving Children. And this really equals an open check. I mean, they come for this, they don't need to have any, more, any money. Tomorrow night, 33 News is hosting a one-hour special at 8 o'clock. I will be interviewing some people from our local Arab American Community Center and also two local rabbis to talk about the crisis in the Middle East and what it is going to take before a peace agreement can ever be reached in that region. Vince.